Well, despite all the heavy rain we've had the past few days, we are still dealing with drought conditions in the southern African regions, the ongoing dry spell, especially around our country. Uh, brought on by the El Nino effect is having a dire effect on crops and potentially potentially could threaten food security. Let's find out where we are on this, what plans are in place, how are farmers being assisted. Uh, it's always uh, good to have uh, the Minister Toko Rodiza with us talking about uh, everything agriculture. She's made time for us uh, this morning uh, from Agriculture, Land and Reform and Rural Development. That's the full title for the Minister. Uh, and good to have you with us. And I'd like to begin here, uh, a worrying number that's come out. And tell me how concerned you are, Minister. 2023-2024 summer grains and oil seed production could fall by 21%. That's, that's not a good place to be, is it? It's not a good place to be. However, in the discussion we've had with the industry as well as the producers and the financial institutions, we are actually comfortable that uh, even with the fallen numbers that we are expecting after harvest, we will still be food secure as a country as well as our region. So how are we making sure that we are okay as, as a country when you look at those sort of numbers? When we talk about possible food shortages, how are we going to stave that off? How close are we to that? Well, I don't think we are that close to that. What we've been observing is that the nature of this uh, El Nino effect has actually been very interesting somehow, if I were to call it that way. Because you have had uh, patches of uh, good uh, harvest on one hand and patches of very dry uh, maize as well as oil seeds that have been affected by this uh, drought. 